Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to put air in a tire. You know, right now we're unfortunately still in this uh, pandemic and COVID-19 is still around. And uh, these are these are small things that you can do if your car needs air. So let's say you guys have one of these, which makes no sense. Uh, unfortunately, you know, when you have a car, uh, if your car has this little, little I call it an idiot light. Uh, you have to take out, come out of the car and start finding which tire it is. So let's get to it. Let's see which tire. I kind of know already which tire it is, but let's just do it anyway. So, as you can see, the little tire light right there. So, let's uh, find out. So, as you can see, this tire looks pretty good. Doesn't look too bad. Uh, I'm gonna take the, the liberty in saying that the corporate one with the issue might be this tire here. So, you guys can see uh, any gas station may have one of these, which are great because once you put the money in, you set the temp the air pressure, which in this car, particular car is 32. Most cars are 32, depending on if it's SUV or not. Uh, swipe your card or insert your card. Right, right here. And it's just authorizing now. ready to go as you can see it's already set to 32 but you can set whatever tire pressure you want if it's 32 40 and so on so let's grab the nozzle and let's check this first tire start by removing the cap go to the side oh, go to the side right here and let's see make sure when you put the nozzle you push in until it starts, you know, you hear the air going in. And I think this is the tire. And that beep, I don't know if you guys can hear it, that means the machine is telling you that it already reached the 32, per, 32 PSI air pressure that you set it to. And let's see if the light turned off. And the light is still on, so we can check the rest of the tires, but sometimes that light may turn off. Uh, once you start moving, the light may turn off and just once the system detects that it has the correct tire pressure, it will shut off. But let's check the other three tires. So one down and three to go. So let's check the other side. Check the other, the other side here. Step on this nozzle right here so it doesn't go out. Let's see if this one is also low. Just like before, you push in and let it do its thing. I hear the machine pushing for air. And it looks like this one was low as well. That's done. Alright. So that's two down and two to go. Let's do another quick check of the tire pressure gauge inside the car. See if it turns off. And as you can see, it's still on. So let's check the rear two. Maybe those tires are low as well. So and you want to have the correct tire pressure because a it gives you better fuel economy and two it's also safer when the car has the correct tire pressure all around in all four tires they will drive better they will handle better uh, especially in inclement weather like rain snow and things of that nature so this is a very important quick tip 
on how to add your own uh, air and it doesn't take much to do so so let's go to the last tire here and once you do the first one it's basically reset repeat on all four tires and we're done I hear the machine beeping telling me that the tires already at 32 and that should definitely do it so that should definitely uh, get the tires back to normal let's see let's go into the car and check the tire pressure light and it looks like it, oh it was still on but you just saw it it turned off that's how you put air on your tires it's very important to check your tire pressure um, especially during the hot summer months and the cold winter months because the tire pressure regulates itself uh, if it's winter uh, sometimes you know the air is very thin and the tire the tire pressure will naturally drop um, it happens to pretty much every car whether you have a leak or, or not and uh, it's always good it's a good practice to check your tire pressure especially if you're setting off on a, on a, on a road trip of any kind or just in general it's a good it's a good practice all around to do so uh, thank you for watching if you like what you saw please comment like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video